What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're going to go over another value add-on that you get if you purchase an Asus Republic of Gamers motherboard and it is their Game First 2 network mapping software um, and what's really cool about this software is you not only can use it with the included network adapter that's on the motherboard, say you buy another one um, you know, or you buy a wireless adapter, you can use this for each one of those adapters, which is actually really cool. Um, so when you open it up here, we are in easy mode, and that's going to actually show you your network adapter, MAC address, IP, and ping time. And if you go down here, there's four different sections. There's VoIP, media streaming, games, and file sharing. And this is where you're going to set the priorities for different types of things. So if we go, you know, we're in VoIP here, and, you know, say we use something I don't know let's say uh, I don't even Skype in here Skype should be in here somewhere let's see P uh, Skype so Skype um, say I use Skype a ton I use it all the time it's very important that if I'm taking a Skype call I want the highest bandwidth so I can go ahead and set this on higher and if I don't use it at all of course you can go all the way down to lowest it's just setting different priorities for different types of programs and again those programs include VoIP media streaming programs games and file sharing of course down here this is going to show us our our speeds our current speeds that's what's going on and over here is kind of a live view of what's going on the different type of web traffic and your speeds and everything like that and this little uh box right here actually will show down at the bottom right above your taskbar you can move it around if you want or you can completely disable it. but it kind of just gives you a live view of what's going on on your uh, network adapter which is actually pretty cool down here you can calibrate your line which of course the first time you run this I would really suggest you do that you can run a speed test um, you can see your current connection so if we click on here we don't have anything running you'll see some stuff pop up uh, you know which is basic Windows stuff um, but it's actually gonna show you you know the different uh, your, you know your host your remote your all your different information what's going on so say you feel like something's draining your your you know um, your connection or something like that you're going really so maybe something in your system it could be a virus it could be anything um, that's really draining your system you can go ahead and see what's going on right here about all your local connections and you can kind of freeze the screen so say you have a ton of stuff up and you can see things are coming up and disappearing you can freeze the screen so you can see exactly what's going on close that up and we also have a usage graph which you can go ahead and see so this is good especially if you're on a connection that doesn't have um or that does have like a, a threshold as far as bandwidth goes you can see how much usage you are doing and you can set it up through different protocols um you know different clients everything like that what actually shows up here just so you kind of know what's going on you can show it for a month 12 month three month and um the current month which is actually pretty cool and I believe that's it in this basic se section. Yeah, so that's basically it here in the easy mode. Now you can go into advanced mode. You hit this little gear up here. And this will go into advanced mode. And there's a lot more things here. Um, different things. You can set bandwidth limits for current connections as well as new connections. Um, and you can set the different things here, um, traffic shaping modes for, for current and new connections. Um, you can turn on, you know, favorite ping time. Um, you know if you want that or not you can turn on or off packet loss avoidance you can activate the firewall you can block a list of IPs so say for some reason an IP is sending you a ton of traffic or it's slowing you down you can actually block that IP you can set up automatic MMS optimization and you can set strict RTP checks as well in the protocols here um, they're they're set into different categories so you have special client protocols, uh, media streaming, server protocols, and file sharing. So say you do a lot of BitTorrent, you can actually turn that priority all the way up and you can actually set limits on it as well on each one of these. Um, you know, so I can set that all up, say if I do a lot of torrenting or something like that. Um, and they're, again, they're all for different things, you know, so DNS, FTP, things like that. You can change all of that around. Programs is basically like the same thing. Um, but it's for the program itself. So again, BitTorrent here, I can set the priority all the way up. This is just like we saw in the easy mode, um, but of course you can go into a little bit, you can see everything a lot easier in this mode as well. 
Um, and again, you can actually add a new program if you like. And if it's a program that's not actually in the list, you can suggest it to the uh, team and they might actually add it into a newer update of the software. Traffic shaping. Um, you can go ahead and select, you can see your different network connections and you can select it to auto, yes or no. And then you can go into options and, you know, you can set the traffic shaping mode and actually you can set budgets as well, which we'll get into in a second. And you can set all of these different settings right here. Adapter info just gives you all of the information on your current adapters. Um, you know, all of that stuff that you, you know, you may want and everything like that. Um, so which is just you know right in here online budgets this is the budgets that you could actually set you know for your different uh, connections here so we can set a you can actually set a time limit or you can set a volume limit whether it's kilobytes megabytes or gigabytes and um, you can have it reset each day so maybe you want to use you know five gigs a day you can actually set that and um, you can set up to 10 as you you know as you want so different budgets things to really take control of your network connection and traffic analysis will you know you can set a um, you can set things to you know to show on that graph um, what they may be and everything like that for the full traffic analysis so this software again is pretty cool again you can use it on any one of the network adapters that you want um, as long as you have a ROG board so that is really really cool another add-on of course you want to go into this stuff especially if you're a hardcore gamer you don't want you know lag or anything like that you can really set things up to really give you the full capability of really taking control of your network connection but if you have any questions about the game first 2 software you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below and remember guys if you like our videos why don't you subscribe catch you guys later